That's what we begin tonight with new and worrying details about the murder of Kansas Dr. George Tiller. Today, confirmation that Dr. Tiller's alleged assassin, Scott Roeder, was in contact with the extreme anti-abortion group Operation Rescue in the months leading up to Dr. Tiller's murder. Up to this point, Operation Rescue has maintained that Scott Roeder was not a member of their organization, but evidence of a link between the two that was first inadvertently spotted in local television footage has now been followed up and confirmed. Check this out. Immediately after the Tiller shooting, when Scott Roeder was pulled over by police, local TV footage from KMBC captured a glimpse of a small note that was on the dashboard of Mr. Roeder's car. The note read, Cheryl, Op Rescue, and it had a phone number on it. Cheryl at Rescue, we can now tell you, is Cheryl Sullinger. She is employed by the anti-abortion group as their senior policy advisor. Ms. Sullinger has now admitted that she did, in fact, have multiple phone conversations with Scott Roeder before Dr. Tiller was killed. Those conversations were about Dr. Tiller. Operation Rescue maintained and still maintains something that they call Tiller Watch on their website. Allies of Dr. Tiller in Kansas say that until recently, Operation Rescue also posted online the doctor's real home address and the address of his church, which of course is where Dr. Tiller was ultimately murdered this weekend, allegedly by Scott Roeder. Cheryl Sullinger tells the Kansas City Star, quote, I was polite enough to give him the information. I had no reason not to. Who knew? Who knew, you know what I mean? In addition to informing Mr. Roeder of Dr. Tiller's whereabouts over the phone, Cheryl Sullinger was also using her Twitter account to track Dr. Tiller's movements. March 12th, 11.24 a.m., ambulance just took woman from hospital from Tiller's mill. Photos, video to come, Tiller tried to hide from us. March 5th, 7.23 p.m., inviting all to Tiller trial in Wichita, March 16th. February 20th, 11.26 a.m. Meanwhile, bloody business as usual at Tiller's Shop of Horrors. Before she became Operation Rescue's senior policy advisor, Cheryl Sullinger served almost two years in prison for conspiring to bomb a California abortion clinic in 1988. We invited Cheryl Sullinger to be on this show tonight to discuss this matter with us. She declined. We hope that she would reconsider. Be